Hello, awesome Pisces. I missed you guys. I hope you're doing wonderful. I missed you. Thank you for your awesome energy, Pisces. Let's do this. So, of course, a lot of you are writing to me wanting to have soulmate readings. That's what we're going to do. Uh, thank you for your beautiful letters that you sent me. I get it on my Vimeo account. I thank you so much. Um, thank you for your gratitude. Sending you love back. I appreciate you. So first we're going to ask in this video, the first half of this video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, what you're dealing with, facing, how to best handle it for your highest good. The second half of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. We're going to ask what's going on with them, what they're dealing with and how they are relating to you at this time, especially emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling? So let's do this, Pisces. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces. For Pisces, highest good, please. Universe, the Pisces energy. What's coming towards Pisces, Universe? What will Pisces be dealing with, facing? Let's see, Pisces. Wow, this is good. This is beautiful. So even though you feel like you are at a crossroads in your life right now, trying to make some important decisions, even if you see unclearly right now, having a sun present, the sun present here means that you will see clearly, you will have a clear vision of what you need to do. Whatever it is that's troubling you, that you can make up your mind on, you will know what you need to do and how to proceed. Wow. A lot of you are concentrating on your job, finances, health, well-being, finances are showing up here, work, you uh, being a busy bee at work, doing very well for yourself. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> okay, very important message showing up here. There's somebody in your life, obviously, it's your soulmate because the lovers showed up that really has your attention and you can think of anybody else but them this person showing up here as very attractive charismatic they are your soulmate yes they are lovers energy showing up here and for them to be concentrating on this energy showing up in your reading already shows that this person is very interested in you <clears throat> this is you trying to make a decision about them how to handle them, how to proceed, which way to go. You have a lot of unanswered questions. A lot of you dealing with Leo, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, also Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and also Gemini. No matter what sign they are, this person is very passionate towards you. And so are you towards them. You, you have a lot of passion for them. So even though I asked about your energy, they are showing up here already, universe. So that means you're heavily thinking about them. Universe, what's coming towards Pisces? What will Pisces be dealing with, facing? Yeah, you have a wish, Pisces, you do. Your eyes and your heart are set on this individual. It is your soulmate. Yes, it is. You know them on a... Uh, deep level from other lifetimes, romantically involved. You have a wish to have this person in your life, in a relationship. This is relationship right here. Wow. Both of you have this passion for each other. Both of you have this enormous passion, uh, attraction, they're very attracted to you and you're very attracted to them. So it's a mutual thing. This person is leaving behind some toxic stuff in their life. They're walking away from toxicity, whether it's toxic job, toxic friendships, toxic coworkers, toxic excess, whatever it is. They know they need to say bye-bye to toxicity. They view you as very guarded emotionally, though. They feel, somehow they feel that you've been hurt very deeply in the past. 
Yeah, because look at this. I just looked on the bottom of the deck, Six of Swords. They feel you've been through a lot of heartbreak in your life. Uh, that you're a little guarded with them. So Pisces, I know you love this person. You care about them deeply. When you in their surroundings or even when you talk to them on the phone, uh, communicating with them in any way, make sure you let that guard down just a little bit, just a little bit to show them that you are approachable emotionally. You've been through a lot, Pisces, a lot. Yeah, because you're showing up here as Queen of Swords, very guarded. But this also shows you very wise. Yeah, you, you have a lot of wisdom. You've gained a lot of wisdom from your experiences. This is good. You get wisdom. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Pisces. What will Pisces be dealing with facing? This is you overanalyzing a little bit, Pisces. Pisces, don't do this to yourself. Don't, don't overanalyze. When you catch yourself overanalyzing or thinking the worst or thinking excessively, do what I do. And it works for me. I think it will work for you. I go into meditation, ask the higher power to assist me, to help me. I, I go for a little walk in nature. Uh, I will listen to my favorite meditation music without lyrics. It really calms me down. It helps me greatly. And I know it's going to help you. Wow. A lot of you dealing with Leo, also Taurus. Leo keeps popping up for a lot of you. Also very strong Aquarius. Very strong Aries. No matter what sign they are, it shows here you guys are learning from each other. Through challenges, you're learning from each other. This is beautiful. Oh, this person loves you. Look at this, Ten of Cups. They're thinking of you heavily. And they love you. So it's like, look at this. These cups are so dark in energy. And these cups are so light, happy, fulfilled. These cups are empty. These cups are full of love. It's like you are helping this person restore their faith in love, in relationships. Where they felt dead emotionally before they met you. And now they feel happy, fulfilled. Like they have something to look forward to. Wow. You guys have inconsistent communication though with each other. Um, I just looked before I put these, these two halves together. I just saw the hanging man. Let me find it. Shoot. I shouldn't have closed it. I want you to see it. I just... Where is the... Yeah. I just saw the hanging man, right? Before I closed it together and here's the ten of swords some of them may be experiencing some kind of i want to say health challenges or maybe not feeling too good maybe stressed out uh, this is you worrying too much about this not working out don't put uh, that kind of energy on this just try to be as positive as possible Pisces, don't do this to yourself. Yeah. Um, I'm curious to see what their energy is going to be towards you. Let me see how many minutes are we in. Okay, we are at eight minutes. Okay. We still have a few minutes before we go into their energy. This is you feeling lovey-dovey towards them. And you guard it at the same time. So maybe you said something to them that you feel sad about. Maybe you wanted to say something, but you weren't brave enough to say it. That means it wasn't the time. So don't punish yourself, Pisces. Don't be hard on yourself. This is you worrying too much. You worry too much, Pisces. Yeah. Don't do this to yourself. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords. This is you worrying about it working out. This person is slow to action. Not because they're thinking twice about you. No, because they have a lot of drama they're leaving behind. And you're helping them. You're helping them restore their faith in love, in relationships, in connections. They're going from this 
dark energy to this beautiful energy of joy, happiness, fulfillment. You're helping them get there. It's a gradual process for them. Mm -hmm. What they're teaching you. Patience. Let's see what's going on with them. I can't wait. Universe, please step in and show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces' highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Pisces. The soulmate of Pisces. No matter what sign or gender they are collectively. What is going on with the soulmate of Pisces? And how does the soulmate of Pisces currently relate to Pisces, especially emotionally? How is the soulmate feeling towards Pisces emotionally? What's on their mind? The soulmate of Pisces. I was supposed to get one extra from them, so we're going to do that. See, they overanalyzing, <laughs> just like you are. Both of you are worrying excessively. Eight of swords again, but from the bigger tarot deck. So this person is worrying excessively, just like you are. They worried that they will do something wrong or say something wrong. My goodness. Their wish is to have you in their life. This is their wish. Look at this beautiful wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. Look how beautiful they are. You are restoring their faith in relationships. This person has been through some traumatic relationships in the past. That's why they're so guarded. And so are you. Both of you are very guarded. Some of you may know this person from work or met at work or they're coming to your work. Um, interesting. Justice. Something to do with the law. Some, some of them are dealing with the law. Whether they work for the law or have something going on wow this combination here would represent prisons which means that some of them may be dealing with judicial system or uh, police uh prison guard something like that something to do with the law some of them not all of them obviously this is them being very strong i often call this beauty and the beast so they feel like you're taming them, you're restoring their faith, you're relaxing them, you're helping them out. Beautiful. This person adores you. Let me see. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages. What is going on with the soulmate? Yeah, they worried about the job. Something going on heavily on their mind to do with work. So some of them have hazardous jobs that are dangerous yeah universe please step in what's going on this also means no matter what they do for a living or who they are this means that this person wants to handle things justly with you they want to treat you right they want to handle things correctly they don't want to mess up you're very important to this person Universe, what's going on with the soulmate of Pisces? And how is the soulmate of Pisces currently relating to Pisces? Especially emotionally. See, they want to take action, but they're scared. So it's like they want to take action, do something with you, and then they retreat. They get scared. You see, look at this. You met this person for a reason, and that's what they feel. They feel they met you for a reason that is it was destined for the two of you to meet and it was you do know them on a soul level a lot of you are dealing with the leo again this person for a lot of them this person comes to your job or i don't know what they do something to do with the job um they also concentrating on manifesting better income, better financial stability. Yes, a lot of them have to do with judicial system. Either go are going through some kind of uh, court battle, or they may be working for judicial system. Some of them. They very guarded with their emotions. Very guarded. They don't like to show their feelings too openly. 
this person has the best intentions towards you. Yeah, they have good intentions towards you, but they withdraw for some reason. They, it's like one day they feel brave enough and then they withdraw. You see, this person has been through a lot of heartbreak in their life that it hasn't healed fully. Three of the swords are pointing up. Yeah, you see, very guarded emotionally. Very guarded with the heart, the emotions. Um, so, Eight of Swords, Knight of Swords, Two of Swords, Five of Swords, very guarded emotionally. They're going through a lot to do with uh, stress in their life, job, major change, transformation. They want major change in their life. You bringing change into their life. So they recognize that you have brought change to their life. They view you as very balanced, grounded, reliable, nurturing, giving person. Also as husband or wife material. Um, yes, they respect you. This person views you as very attractive, giving, loving, nurturing, that you like to give to people, you want to assist. So this person, again, very much recognizes that you are bringing major change to their life with your presence. Uh, for some of them, the way they view relationships, the way they express the emotions, they recognize you as very important part of their life. Let me see clarification on that strength. Let me see, I'm gonna use the full deck. Let's see. Universe, please clarify this energy. What is going on with the soulmate of Pisces? Leo and Virgo showing up here. Wow, look at this, they feel successful. Wow, this is beautiful. So a lot of them are very admired at the job. Whatever it is they do for a living, they viewed uh, by others as, yeah, a lot of them to do with the law again. Some of them, Pisces work for the law, could be judicial system, police, firefighters, prisons, prison systems, uh, correctional officers. They are admired greatly for their accomplishments. And some of them are going through some kind of court battle, some kind of court proceedings. Yeah, they have to defend themselves. Hmm, something to do with money, obviously. Look at this, so this is like karmic. What they're going through is is gonna help them balance some kind of karmic scales with people around them. This person is always showing up, also showing up as hardworking, doing too much sometimes, have a lot of responsibilities on their shoulders. A lot of you dealing with um, Aquarius. Also very strong Libra and uh, Capricorn showing up here. Virgo also. Wow. <clears throat> Let's see more for you. Anything else before we go into extended and see what they're planning long term and if they're hiding anything, what they're hiding from you and advice. Yeah, look at this. Five of Swords. You're waiting patiently, Pisces. You're waiting patiently for it to unfold and see how it works out. You don't want to get hurt. You don't want to get heartbroken. Of course you don't. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah, you want to take some kind of leap of faith. Yeah, you want to make sure that this person is reciprocal, that they put work into this relationship, that they communicate effectively, let you know what's going on. You want to marry this person, live with them, be with them for life. This is very important energy showing up here. Uh, four, of, uh, four of ones, soulmate relationship. So once again, strength card, Leo energy. 
Beauty and the Beast card, I call it. So this person feels like you are taming them. You're helping them understand connections, relationships, feelings. They have respect for you. Communication showing up here. Back and forth communication for you guys. Yeah. This person is very lovey-dovey towards you. They're not showing it though. We're going to go into your extended reading, Pisces, and ask about your soulmate's current, true, long-term intentions and plans for you. What their long-term plan plans and intentions are towards you at this time. Anything they're hiding from you at this time, have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate at this time for whatever reason. But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know, whether it's about your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.